we're asked to write the given vectors in component form using angle brackets. This time, we will use the ordered pairs of the initial and terminal points to determine the component form. Given vector v with the initial point x sub 1 comma y sub 1 and the terminal point x sub 2 comma y sub 2, the component form of vector v is equal to angle bracket x sub 2 minus x sub 1 comma y sub 2 minus y sub 1. So the change in x gives us the horizontal x component and the change in y gives us the vertical or y component. Let's begin by analyzing vector u. Notice how the initial point is this point here where the ordered pair is negative 2 comma negative 5. Because this is the initial point, using our formula, this ordered pair must be x sub 1 comma y sub 1. And the terminal point is this point where the ordered pair is negative 6 comma 4. Because this is the terminal point, this ordered pair must be x sub 2 comma y sub 2 which means a component form of vector u has an x component of x sub 2 minus x sub 1, which is negative 6 minus negative 2. And the y component is y sub 2 minus y sub 1, which is 4 minus negative 5. Simplifying. The x component is negative 6 minus negative 2, which is equivalent to negative 6 plus 2, which is negative 4. And the y component is 4 minus negative 5, which is equivalent to 4 plus 5, which is 9. And let's analyze the graph to verify these are the components of vector u. Starting at the initial point, notice how the horizontal change or change in x is left for units, which is why the vertical component is negative 4. And then from here, the vertical change of vertical displacement is up 9 units, which is why the vertical component is positive 9. We can also say the change in y is positive 9. And now let's analyze vector v. The initial point is negative 4 comma 5. This must be x sub 1 comma y sub 1. And the terminal point is here where the ordered pair is 3 comma 1. This ordered pair must be x sub 2 comma y sub 2. Which means vector v has an x component of x sub 2 minus x sub 1 which is 3 minus negative 4 and the y component is y sub 2 minus y sub 1, which is 1 minus 5. Simplifying, the x component is 3 minus negative 4, which is equivalent to 3 plus 4, which is 7, and the y component is 1 minus 5, which is negative 4. Let's go ahead and verify this graphically. Starting at the initial point, the change in x, or the horizontal change, or horizontal displacement, is right 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 units. This vector does represent the horizontal, or x component, which is positive 7. And then from here, the vertical change, or vertical displacement, or the change in y, is down 4, which is why the vertical component is negative 4. I hope you found this helpful.